Hungry Jack's NBL first of our doubleheader on a Sunday afternoon. First bucket, little mid-ranger is down. Ross has done a great job with this team. You very rarely see them take a bad shot. The offense there is uh, disciplined for him. He's hard. You hear him in the timeouts and he doesn't mince his words. And it's exactly what you want is clarity on what you have to be able to get done. Signing both Kyle Adnam, uh, Liafa and Mumford and then trying to balance all that out when you've got guys like Glidden and Brockoff and it just seems like there's a log really can play to their full extent because coming in and out. G down low. That's a hard advantage over McVay. Took a little bump. That'll count. But Jet stepped back. Didn't let it fly. Kenyon only played limited minutes in the first half due to three fouls. McVay is the shot clock expired. After a southeast Melbourne Phoenix block, and he's able to get it to go. That could be the ugliest. Oh, he's right with the numbers, how many they've taken, but they've all been good shots. Yeah. Gee, won't miss that one. I we should have done the last two times. Turnover number six for the Jack Jumpers there. Gee, got it. Mumford out. In the first half, they're starting to even things up. Well, they've just come out with a lot more spark, a lot more energy. And everything looks a whole lot better when you see that ball going through the rim. With a bit more vigour, their body language is a little bit more up and about. That's not his shot. Great pass, Mumford to achieve. Try and get some rest for your players, but the two leading scorers, McVay and Adams. McVay's back into the game. It's a real small ball lineup. She lobs it up. Creek denied by Bearstow. Creek sees the humour in it. It's not normally these teams. Nope. <laughs> well, they did. And they 